Uh, good evening. Uh, can everybody hear me? Oh, you can totally hear me. I love it. Um, good evening. Um, I have a couple of creative heroes. One of them is the architect Mies van der Rohe, who said less is more. The other one is Andy Summers, the guitarist for the police. Famous for... Yeah, now we're talking. Not playing a lot of notes when he didn't need to. So, from those two people, I try to make the connection. I started out thinking I was going to be the next Robert Mapplethorpe. Um, that didn't quite pan out. So, in 1999, I gave up my friends here, and I had an epiphany, and I got into architecture. And here's the uh, Art Basel cover, and what interests me here is this area here doesn't actually exist, so this is light and shadow caused by this up here. This is one of the moments where I don't say anything. <laughs> Just like Andy. Oh, that's, that's missing half of its um, uh, effect. But this is the Carolyn Hotel, 1957. The architect was Norman Giller. This is a 35 mile an hour breeze that's blowing the masonry net across south against the superstructure. And then uh, on the left hand side is the Bentley Condominium and designed by architect Tonica and they designed it so that the building was looking like the sailboats in Biscayne Bay, which I thought made a connection with you know my picture here. Now you see the full size of it, right? Um, and that, I like the way that these two are opposed to one another. And on the left hand side you can see Morris Lapper, this is Crystal House, 1960, and this is Chad Oppenheim in 2006. Both of these buildings inspired directly by uh, one of my heroes, Nice van der Rohe. And hopefully you can see the connection there. Can everybody see the connection? A little too literal, perhaps. Okay, and here's another connection. This is 500 Brickle on, uh, on Brickle, actually. And this is the Union Plants' Bank in North Beach. And on the left is the use of circular motifs by Bernardo Fort Brescia of Architectonica. And this is 1958, and that's 2006. On the left-hand side is the Soho House designed by Alan Shulman, Shulman and Associates. And, on, and this is 2010, okay? And this is 1957, this is the Doval Radisson designed by Melvin Grossman. So hopefully you can see the connection between the architects of today and the architects of yesterday. And on the left-hand side, Crot, my favorite building in Miami, the Bacardi building. This uh, designed in 1964 by Enrique Gutierrez, but this is Francisco Brennan's fantastic mural from 1964. And this is Marcel Wanders in 2007 at the Mondoran in uh, Miami Beach. This is the Sunshine State Arch, and this is Espirito Santo, Colonel Pedersen Fox, and again, this is Melvin Grossman. And hopefully you can see the reiteration of Aero Sarinian's famous arch in St. Louis. Thank you. Perfect timing. Okay, Easter Island. Yeah! Who knows when those were built? Philippe Stark, Icon Brickle. Yeah. Roy France. Who's heard of Roy France? 1939 at the Casablanca, 63rd. And Collins, thank you, Jeff. <laughs> you and me, brother. And hopefully, does anybody see the connection between these? Yes! Yeah. You do, beautiful. Okay, Morris Lapidus, 1960, Lincoln Road. Can anybody tell me the architect of the Acoya, the tallest building in Miami Beach? Because I don't know it either. <laughs> okay, um, so hopefully you can see the connection uh, there. Castlery Stone Circle in the Lake District, uh, 5,500 years ago. And uh, this is my earth art in Miami Beach, Moon Circle number seven, both based on principles of sacred geometry and the golden mean. Beautiful. Okay, and right across the street there, Windward Walls. Okay, and these are my students. And one of the things I do with my students is I try to teach them uh, how to shoot some kind of a CD cover and pretend that we're all a band. And, uh, <laughs> So this is my shot of my students. They look like they're getting a bit tired. Pathetic, absolutely pathetic. So 
one of the one of the things that I try to teach my students is that creativity is fun. But it's all about having fun, and when you have fun, then you tend to get creative. And it's not about being serious. It's about being delightful and following the truthness and being delightful in what you do. And this is the ex this is the way that I, you know, my students have an epiphany. You know, they start here a bit non plus. They're looking at the exposure, they're getting excited about it, and they end up with a visual orgasm. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> and, uh, okay, this is Frank Lloyd Wright, and uh, I was lucky enough to show this uh, photograph at the Guggenheim Museum as part of the Frank Lloyd Wright From Within Outward Exhibition. And Carl Hildebrand here is from Lakeland, or that area? This is in Lakeland, between Tampa and Orlando. It's amazing. Thank, Thank you. Great. And this is the glass house, of course. And, uh, you know, obviously inspired by Miss Van der Rohe. This is Philip Johnson, 1949. This will be the front cover of Ritzel's next book on the, on the glass house. And it's called Glass House Dawn, for obvious reasons. And we are going along to the next slide. And does anybody know where this is? My name is. Miami Beach, yes, this is the new Soundscape Park on the front cover of Landscape Architecture magazine, designed by West Ape, who are absolutely the most phenomenal landscape architecture company, who are doing Governor's Island up in New York as their next big gig. So I was really fortunate to uh, spend some time shooting that. And I like to spend uh, a lot of my time trying to make money, and I make money doing this. This is Colin Cowie, who is Oprah Winfrey's designer. And uh, this took about four hours to set up. And one might think that an architectural photographer has a decent sense of style in his own house, but in fact, at the end of the 20 seconds, it, it looks like this. <laughs> so uh, this is my daughter's room. And um, this is from a couple of years ago. She's a little older now, and she would be really embarrassed if I was showing you this now. But um, that's kind of the reality of what it looks like instead of, you know, what we might want to live like, this is how she's living, and uh, my barter is a two-hour photography one-on-one lesson. Okay, thank you for listening.